hello guys welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel so in this video we'll talk about the prompt testing in generative ai so most of the generative ai models uh, we need to give them prompt and based on the prompt it reacts and from that it gives the output so what is the prompt most of us knows those who don't know whatever the instruction we give ai model to perform some task those are called as prompt so in this current era whatever the automation tools we are building for all of them prompt testing is very critical and as a test engineer you must know like what is the prompt testing so please subscribe this channel and uh, press the bell icon so let's start so what is prompt testing so first of all validating how generative ai tools respond to the inputs so that is the first and necessary task right so whatever input user is giving how generative ai reacts on that what output it gives so that is the first thing that is natural thing we need to do now what why we need qa on this because like focus on output quality so whatever output it is giving how quality like how how good it is how bad it is how, is it user friendly or not so those kind of things we need to consider also we need to con consider consistency so every time it is giving same output or not bias and factual accuracy factual accuracy is very important when you say like uh, fact we ask some fact like who invented uh, 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 electricity and it gives some other answer right so that is not factual data should always be correct and biasness so biasness is like uh, we already talked in couple of videos in this same playlist so biasness is like it should not bias toward one group so for example i say like uh, draw a uh, picture of ceo right and every time it draws for ma male only and uh, doesn't uh, draw for women so we can say like it is biased toward the men and it won't uh, <coughs> considering women as a ceo or something right so it can create issues in the future also key for tools like chat gpt daily copilot it is so key is like to take the response for automation and all so this is what we require now manual prompt testing techniques consistency testing with repeated prompts so every time like we need to ask same question again and again and we need to check if that uh, tool you are testing giving the same output or not so every time you say like how to cook pizza and uh, every time it giving same recipe different recipe completely different recipe so you need to check on this age prompts misspells sarcastic ambiguous so this is what uh, ai doesn't understand for especially i i have tested that sarcasm we, it doesn't understand chat gpt become quite good now but most of the ai doesn't under, understand that also like ambiguous questions most of the users who are not fluent on uh, writing the prompts right they may write ambiguous prompt and uh, may our ai model get confused on that so testing that is very important misspelled it's common like uh, most of time it happens and most of the ai models now uh, takes it correctly but sometimes we need to take care and whatever new ai model you are developing that needs to be tested or also if you are using their services right then also you need to test this intent uh, preservation different phrasing same meaning so sometimes like uh, asking same question with a uh, different sentence formats and or same meaning we need to test this as well and bias detection using sensitive or cultural prompts so in one cultural uh, one thing is good but in another culture uh, thing is uh, th thing is bad for example in india uh, beef is not that uh, sensitive topic but in foreign country it is not right so for those kind of prompts also that it needs to be uh, sensitive and we need to take care of these things as well so where to test prompts so first of all open ai playground or play by quora so this is like to just practice or where you can test so these are the tools that uh, allows you to test so i had keep open this uh, open ai playground so here uh, it is so poi tool so you can directly go to this poi.com chat you can from here like you can create assistant or something so from here a view all i have created one assistant and uh, you can compare the response what are you are getting with other results so i am asking like uh, how to cook pizza bro. and it is giving me the answer like how to cook pizza and now once uh, it 
you get that answer it gives capability to compare it with other tools as well so for example i am comparing same with gemini so what is the answer it is giving so you can get a prompt from gemini as well now you can compare both like if both are uh, proper or not and you can compare with llama grok for grok the so this is the most playground like if you are using so this is uh, helpful when you are we want to use services from the other tools which are in the market and you want to test like which tool is good you want to do poc proof of concept right then this uh, playground is very user friendly so you can try this and it is also fun to use this so this is tool i am using just for the practice and try other different kinds of tools and also for automation you can use api so i have postman or browser based tools so you can hit the api and get the response so automated prompt testing so how to do automation prompt right so use python plus open ai api to run prompts programmatically so when you have python script in that not open ai whatever the uh, tool you want to, to test use their api and run that track output changes check uh, the response and compare responses across the models so this is how you can check the prompt so for that i have written one script using the ai yeah so this is the script using ai only so what you can do is like you can ask questions so i am this is for model chat gpt 3.5 and this is cloud 2 so i can ask uh, directly hit this api i can keep keep my prompts ready and asking both of them and whatever the response i am getting from both i am printing that you can also ask them to compare it as well right so whatever the response you are getting and ask the uh, other tool like compare this response and which one is good so you can play around that so in automation you can do multiple things but for core automation like if you are developing tool or if you are using their service and you want to make sure like this is run every time same then what you can do you can define 10 or 100 prompts based on your requirements keep running every day make sure like it doesn't take much time so print the time as well and whatever the response you are getting just make sure like in response whatever the things you wanted to get that is in formatted or not so you can ask for json as well and you can compare json directly so this kind of things you can uh, so you should take care while getting the response so these are directly tools are available so i didn't try it but you can try this prompt layer truana and uh, langchain langchain i have used a bit so for that uh, you can prompt uh, orchestration in test harness so for langchain i will create demo like if uh, i get uh, proper data and uh, proper thing like how to do automation using langchain so i will create uh, one more video on that but uh, yeah whatever tool i will use i will create video but you can also try out and let me know in the comments like how it works also if you directly knows this please feel free to comment or ping me in the social media like how this works so we can try it out so from this video what you see like best practices for the testers create structured test cases for prompt so for that i have created a previous video where we uh, i have discussed like how we can create test cases for ai use edge cases and multilingual tests so also using different language also matters right so you can try with multiple languages if it is supported in whatever task you want to perform and log prompts output and anomalies so uh, logging anomalies is very important for a tester so what happens is like 10 times when you ask nine times it gives proper answer but one time it gives some different answer and that is what anomaly is so that is like uh, only you knows because no one tries 10 times but someone tries first time and get that response what you got on 10 time right then uh, it may create problem right so knowing this at least we cannot fix but knowing this anomalies is very important and uh, for this we need to communicate with the prompt engineers or ai ml engineer in the team collaborate with prompt engineer so that is what i told right collaborate with the prompt engineer if possible and you can discuss the results with him so sample python code i already show you like how you can get the output and all you can hit the api and get the response that's what you need to do and check the response with a different uh, uh you can compare uh, response with the different tools so what are the final takeaways so first of all prompt testing is a core skill for gen ai qa 
So right now what we yeah, we were doing explanatory testing in manual testing. This is what prompt testing is for the AI. That's what we can compare. Combine manual exploration with automation. So using like every time every day asking same question also bore you. So for that you can have sanity for automation or a set of prompts that are already written and you can automate it. And once those are correct, then only you start automation or manual testing. So that is what important. And focus on the reliability, ethics, and quality of outputs. So whenever you get the output, first of all check like it is ethical or not, reliable or not, and quality of the output like it is user friendly, is, is it giving correct data, is it get, giving enough data, uh, it won't, uh, it is not biased. So those kind of things you need to take care. So thank you guys. Like this video and uh, please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon. Also share it to your QA friends. Feel free to comment anything like if you have more ideas around this or you are already testing so you can give your views as well and follow us on social media. Thank you guys.